Okay, now I'm going to do his feet. I hope the camera picks it up. I don't know my angle. So, I just put a 40 blade on top of my Andy's clippers because they're quieter clippers. I really like them. And just gently cut that hair. You only want to do the bottom of the pad. You don't want to do the tops of the feet or anywhere else on the feet. Just get this hair off their pads. It gives them better traction and mud and stuff doesn't clump up on it. If you live up north where it snows, it will prevent the snow from balling on their feet. It will help prevent it. It won't get stuck in the hair there because there won't be any hair there for it to ball up into. And since I use a 40 blade, I go really carefully. That foot's done. Oops, don't want to get too close to the feathering on the other leg either. There, done. Okay, I did the back feet also. So now I will push my lever, pop off my blade, and I use an eight and a half blade to trim the undersides. Turn on my clipper, pop the blade down, okay so for the underside I'm just going to show you kind of lightly, I use the eight and a half blade and I just go very very gently over that area so that you can sculpt out the body and get rid of all this extra hair. He has a lot of hair underneath. Okay, so you get the general idea. I'll show you the job when it's finished. Okay, now as you can see, his undersides are done. Looks cleaner. Stand up, Susie. Looks cleaner. You don't have all that hair dangling down everywhere. And it sculpted his body a better. It's a terrible angle to be shooting him out. But you get the idea of how it looks. And I do not like them shaved totally naked. And this is two weeks before the show. So by the time the show rolls around, it'll fill in a little bit more and look a little bit more natural. So my next step will be to do his pasterns the backs of his pasterns, which are pretty hairy as well. Let's see if I can get the tripod set back up there. Okay, as I was recording this session, my camera does this wonderful thing of turning itself off sometimes. So I was showing you how to do the pasterns, and of course the camera turned off. So this one is done. You can see it from the side. And you can see the other leg, which has not been done yet. So I will proceed to do the other leg so you can see how it's done. If I can get my tripod, there we go. Okay, I use a pair of thinning shears. And a slicker brush to brush it all back with. And then the fine tooth end of a greyhound comb. And then I hold the leg up like so. And I cut it at an angle out. No, in your foot. So that you don't like to have their feet held. 
So I cut it at it loose. Cut it in an angle, like so. Then I put the foot down. Now he's walking towards the camera. That doesn't help. Put your foot down. Okay, now I'm going to angle the scissors with the back part sticking out and the front part going in towards the leg, in towards the foot, so that I can get an angle there. And just lightly scissor. This helps take all the bulk off the pastern so that they don't look like their feet are melting into the ground. And if you angle it a little bit, that helps taper it in towards the foot and they don't appear to be straight pasterned. You don't really want... I'd like a little slight bend to the pastern. And this dog does have that, but if I were to cut this straight, I would give him the appearance of having a straight pastern. So. Okay. So the feet are done. Pads are done. Hind feet pads are done. I leave the hawk hair on the hind legs. I like it. And this particular dog, it just enhances him. Clean feet, feet pads are done. Undersides are done. So all I have left to do on him is just brush out his ears. And we will be through with him. So, so look, his really aren't too much. Okay, what I wanted to show you with the ears is after you mist him down lightly, to start from the tips and work your way up. That way if there's any little snarls, the brush can grab them. If you do it from the top down, then you're going to be ripping all this extra hair. If you do it from the bottom up and gently, then you're not ripping hair. Okay, so as, it, as you can see, grooming a Saluki isn't all that big of a deal. Got his ears brushed out. After you brush out the ears, go through them with a fine tooth comb. I, have, I use a Greyhound comb. And that way, if there's any little mats or snarls, you'll find them with a the comb. So, here we go. There's the legs, underside, all the fuzzies are gone off the knees, feet, and there's pants, and you can see my yard behind it's not been mowed because it's been raining, raining, raining. So, say hey Zeus, hey Zeus. And this is Saluki Grooming 101. Not rocket science, not a tough job to do. So anyhow, Zeus, hey, you want to say bye? Say bye. Say, oh, woo, woo. Can you say bye? Oh, woo, 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 woo. Zeus. Okay, see you later, alligator.